good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, or whatever time you happen to be checking out this video. I am Latrice Kelly. Today we're going to run a couple of errands with me. I haven't done a vlog in a long time, y'all. I really miss doing this. So, y'all know I recently moved out of state, and so I'm still trying to get to know my area, my favorite stores, and whatever. So, as such, I always tend to like go back to Aldi because I know what they got. So come with me. Let's, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of money because I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> just being very honest, this is a transparency moment. But like for real, for real, just getting a couple of things to prepare me for the week. I really want to get some of my food prep, meal prep things so I can stay on track with trying to eat healthy and maintaining the weight loss that I have accomplished so far. Pardon the interruption. I'm going to go home. I'm actually going to get my spouse for the duration of this vlog. So we're not sitting in the house all day because that's what we typically do on a Saturday. Um, homebodies that we are. Can y'all believe I let him go anywhere with me? like that. <laughs> Got the magical quarter to get my carts. Right. Welcome back to another shop with me at All Dizzle, also known as Aldi. This is my jam, y'all. You all know that I forever in a day will shop at Aldi. I have a whole playlist devoted to Aldi finds especially these raw cashews, macadamia nuts, walnuts. This is great. It's saving my life because I'm doing Ozempic for weight loss and it's keeping me fat adapted. Now, for some reason, Aldi has turned into Home Depot slash Lowe's. There's always like 90,000 lawn and garden products right at the front of the store. At any given time, I really have to keep my mind focused. Anyway, that end table was like, it was luring. I, I was tempted, but I didn't get it. However, I'm always distracted by these candles too. So the Huntington Home Collection, you know how I feel about these. You can see a previous video on my channel. I'm looking at these glasses thinking, hmm, this is a good color scheme for the porch this summer, right? Focus is critical in the store. You just have to focus. You have to focus. <sighs> Let's see. And so we have arrived to our seasonings aisle. This section contains some of my favorite pantry essentials. I've always thought about doing a video around what things you must buy from Aldi and what things you may not need to buy from Aldi. And if you think I should do that upload, let me know in the comments below. I did not get the salmon this time just because we've been eating a lot of it lately. The snacks and popcorn and things, I did a good job by avoiding the salty snack trap. I didn't get the cuties because I tend to be the only one who eats those in the house and they end up going bad. I love the grapes this week, really sweet and juicy. And then I'm gonna explain why I got this sal the, the sunflower chopped salad. It's the bomb, essentially. But I'm gonna tell y'all how I dress it up towards the end of this video. And later on, you're going to see that I made a swap at the Isle of Shame. Initially, I was getting the sugary Gatorade, but then I found out they had sugar-free. So yes, winning. So we at this store called Ollie's Bargain Outlet. There's like randomness in there. So hubby finally got us some lights for our driveway those little solar power outside lights we put, did we put them in your you put them in your grass like you put stakes in there see i just don't know what words are but anyway that's what we bought <laughs> As I mentioned before, I'm trying to explore and get to know the different stores in my area. I found this Indian grocery store 
and they had essentially everything that came in there looking for. I was looking for coconut milk at Aldi. They sometimes have it in the Mexican food aisle, but I know for a fact Indian grocery stores will always have coconut milk. And then I was looking for sesame oil, some of this, the katamita. I love that snack. I highly recommend it. I saw all these food essences and these add-ins to, I guess they're like stirring sauces, not really sure. Anyway, the Alma powder, if you know anything about Indian women and their long natural hair, Alma powder is a big deal. So yeah, this is an interesting store, I had fun. If it's a dessert or something. Mm. Oh, this one's good. Masala ketchup. So it just came out of the Indian grocery store because, you know, Indian food is my jam, y'all. The vegetable samosa, which is like, Man, it's like powder, cheese. Big girls out. Look at that. Come on, dear brother Numsi, a toast. Five samosas. Mm -hmm. Okay, quick little Aldi run today. Healthy haul. These are the items that I'm hopefully going to be meal prepping this week in hopes that I stay on track as far as eating well, I'm trying to do one meal a day, emphasis on like lots of good proteins and whatever. So I've got the meatless meatballs. This is for my son who's a vegetarian. We've got pita wraps in case he wants to make a sandwich with it. We also have some non-flatbread. Two dollars off, love a good deal. We got the Asian seasoned medley vegetables. These are perfect in a stir fry. Of course, watch my stir fry seafood recipe that I have uploaded for you. Coconut milk, the seasoned sesame oil, chili oil, and a kata meat that came from the Indian grocery store, not Aldi. This is Aldi, there's spinach. I'm gonna be doing a lot of salads this week. We got some more chicken breasts here. 1180 about three pounds worth of boneless, skinless chicken in here. This one was packaged for 50% off, which I'm excited about, love a good deal. We got some butter, because we definitely have to have a lot of good fat to be fat adapted, so butter is all good, healthy oils all good, and included in a lot of my recipes. The apples look so good this week. The cosmic apples, look at that. How you like them apples? All right, we got that. We got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Once again, we found the deal, 50% off the label. So I plan on making chicken adobo, which is like a Filipino dish. I'm probably gonna make it in my slow cooker. Stay tuned for that on this channel. We got two packs, two packs, of course, of the chicken thighs. We need enough for our big family bag of frozen tilapia. I plan on making coconut curry seafood and vegetables. And that's why I have this tilapia. It goes perfectly in that dish. Let me wash my hands. I feel like I got icky stuff and chicken all over it. Okay, so I got a tray of about 12 yogurts, blueberry, peach, strawberry, cherry. This is gonna help me stay on track as far as a just enough meal. <laughs> Pop. Yes, I said to give up snacks. I told y'all don't listen to me, that I be making up stuff. <laughs> no, but seriously, when I crave something crunchy, I feel this is like better than making my homemade version of popcorn. Cause when I make my at-home popcorn, I load it up with way too much butter, way too much salt. And if I'm doing kettle, I add lots of sugar, so. This is a better option than doing my own type of popcorn. Uh, plantain chips. This is one of those kind of impulse buys at Aldi. I've had these before in Imperfect Foods. When I've ordered from them, I really do like these. So that's just an option. Um, got hot dog buns for, what did I buy the hot dog buns for? Well, if my son wants to make him like a Meatball sub, we can put those on there. These are my favorite nuts from Aldi. This is what I take with me to work. So when I'm hungry, if I'm doing one meal a day, 
and my meal is gonna be at home, this will help save the day. Nuts can go on the unhealthy side if you eat too many, but if you eat just enough, just to kind of pull the hunger pains away and keep you focused and keep you from going to the vending machine or going through somebody's drive-thru, this is the Simply Nature Organic brand, non-GMO, love these. That's why I got two of them. All right, so got that. It's time to get some more of this sea salt. I love this brand from Aldi. This is, let's see, mentioned salads earlier. So as far as salad dressings go, ref the cold refrigerated type of dressings are better than the ones that are sold in the aisle with the condiments because it's not as much sugar in it and it's definitely more on the healthier side. Again, we're doing fat adaptive living, so salad dressings are not on the no-no list. Got some half and half, because you know that's me, and my coffee, because she's a half and half girl now. I got a cucumber, which I'm gonna add to my salads this week, and um, the other half, I'm gonna make me some cucumber lemon water. The grapes look amazing this week from Aldi. Look at those. Can't wait to rinse those off and have a few. I picked up my favorite salad kit, which is the sunflower chopped salad. I love it because it has the edamame beans in here and quinoa pieces and little bits of sunflower seeds. It's got a really yummy vinaigrette, which I use half of the packet so I don't get so much sugar and then I add a little avocado oil to it and rice wine vinegar and it's a really guilt-free salad. So I try to judge up my salad with adding some more things to it like spinach, the cucumber, some red onion, or if I have green onion. I got four bags of this salad, $2.99 a bag, but I love it. So good, so, so good. Y'all know my favorite all-purpose seasoning, which I put on eggs, I put it in soups, I add it to fish. It's literally called steak seasoning, but I don't care. It's not just for steak, it's for everything else. So I got two bottles of this. Boom, boom. And I got some reduced sodium soy sauce. And as I mentioned, I was gonna make chicken adobo, so you can't make chicken adobo without some soy sauce. I picked up four cans of tuna. I got the albacore tuna, which is the more expensive type because it's pure white meat. And then I tend to mix it with regular tuna with water. I have a tuna salad recipe on my channel, check that out. And the wild card that I always cut my tuna salad with is a can of salmon. You drain the water, debone it, add it to your tuna salad, boom, it's delicious. Got some honey. This is my sweetener of choice lately. The agave nectar was too expensive, so I decided to go with honey. I picked up these for my non-meat eater son, these mushrooms that are stuffed with, what is it, feta? It's spinach and artichoke cheese. Artichokes and cheese. I don't know, whatever it is, this is something you can have. I picked up Italian sausage for my meat eating spouse and my other son who is a meat eater. And then of course I had to hit the aisle of shame and get myself a one-off, which is this week's Huntington Home Luxury Dupes, Cypress and Grapevine. It smells very masculine. It's definitely got like a soapy smell fresh smell. I love this. This is one of uh, the, this, this one stood out to me of all the ones I stood there and sniffed. This one is fabulous. So this is my Aldi haul. Vanna white, Vanna white, Vanna black, Vanna black. Uh. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We appreciate every view, every like, every engagement counts. You have grown my community to 3,100 subscribers recently and over a quarter of a million views, which is bananas. Bananas. It is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S.